So we're now going to add a tool to our jobs. This allows us to actually perform a calibration or create a declaration of conformance. So from here we're going to press the tool symbol. We can select the tool and then we can add this to our jobs. This takes us to a workflow screen so we can set up either a conformance or the calibration. In this case we've selected conformance. From here we can select as found clock and ante, as left clock and ante. With this particular tool we're going to be working with an as found clockwise only. We'll press play. We can now come to a screen where we can either manually adjust the wrench or we can select conformance index 6.5 and perform that test. Index 6.5 refers to the section within the standard to which we are going to work. We we'll now press play and this takes us to our work screen. The TWC will now take you through this process. We're now looking at setting the preload to 100 Nm or full scale on the particular wrench. So we're taking our wrench, we're going to unlock and wind the wrench around to its full scale, in this case 100 Nm. We now take the wrench to the TWC, sliding it through the safety loop, engaging with the torque transducer and its adapter. What we now need to do is ensure the loading point is centered. So we unlock the TWC, we slide in the appropriate direction until the teardrop on the reaction arm is aligned with the loading point, in this case the star on the handle. And next we lock off. We're now checking that the wrench is actually floating. We may need to add or remove masses from the reaction in order to achieve this. We close our safety cover. We're now in a position to press the ready button. The TWC will now take you through the test. We'll see here is temperature, humidity. This is showing you what the transducer is seeing. This is showing you the progress through the test. Once the three preloads are finished, TWC will ask you to do a zero check. It's asking you now to remove the tool. Pull back the safety cover. Lift out our wrench. We can now tell the TWC we've removed our tool. A zero check will now be performed. We now move on to stage one, which is where we set the tool to 20 newton meters and perform the first of five tests to get our declaration of conformance in accordance with part one of the standard. We reinsert our wrench and we adjust to 20 newton meters. We're now in a position to press ready. The TWC will now start working through the first of five readings running to 20%. As a reminder, this is what the transducer is seeing. Current progress temperature and humidity. We can now see the readings that we've taken. On completion of the 20% value, the TWC will automatically take us to the 60% value and we need to adjust our torque wrench. So again, we're gonna unlock our wrench, remove the pressure from the reaction arm, wind our wrench around to the 60% reading and continue. 
press ready. The TWC is now driving the torque wrench up to its 60% value and capturing those readings. Again, we can see one of five, and that's gonna walk through to five of five before moving on to the 100% value. We've now moved on to stage three. This is where we're gonna set the tool to its full scale, in this case, 100 Newton meters. So again, unlock the wrench, remove the tension from the reaction arm, wind around to our 100 Newton meter value. In this case, we've overshot. What we would do is wind back below that value and then reapproach full scale. This is to reduce the effects of hysteresis. Lock our torque wrench. We can press ready. Once again, the TWC is going to automatically take us through the process of taking those five values in order to capture the data to produce our declaration of conformance. Once finished, you've got three choices. We can continue. This might be to take the anti-clock data, or perhaps if we've made some adjustments, we're going to take the as-left data. Retry the last. It may well be that we've realized we've made an error and we want to retry or retake the last set of measurements. Cancel task could be that we've realized we've made a large error and we need to cancel what we've just done. We're going to continue. So what we could now do is use these buttons to manually control the TWC should we need to back it off in order to remove the wrench from the rig. We're now gonna come back Job complete, we can now press OK and generate our documents immediately, or we could press later and produce our documents at a later date. We're gonna press OK. So we've now got our declaration of conformance. We can see results, details of the transducer, conformance details and laboratory number, the model, serial number, and the date of the conformance. Looking at the side icons, we have change of directions, we have printer. The bottom icon is to go back and take you home. The recommended way of shutting down the TWC is to hit the power down button, accept, and the TWC will safely shut itself down.